I think Tangara translates to man throwing rock. We've just um, in a train and we just got hit by something. Um, just blew the window out here, but it's the only outside window. It's a Tangara train. It's broken all the glass, which is down there. Made a hell of a bang. I uh, was just with my family here. It was between Thornley and Hornsby. Can only assume someone has thrown a rock. Once again, there's the hole in the glass there. That's the other glass. Yeah, there's a great big bang, some glass there. And when I get out of the train, it haunts me maybe I'll get some more um, footage of that. In fact, it shattered the whole glass there. Wow, it was a huge explosion. Yeah, you just saw the people came up and asked what that noise was. And um, we're just waiting to get off at the uh, next station to take a look at the damage there. That's the carriage number that got hit. If that makes any sense, probably the only way to ID it. I just told the staff they're going up and looking at the damage now. He was very thankful uh, that we reported the damage to the train. He's there looking at the broken window now. It was actually a little bit scary. That's the first time anything like that's happened. Yeah. But uh, naughty people, I dare say, throwing bricks or something at the train. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I'm just doing the bolt to see if I can see that broken window before I've got the connecting train going up to where I live. Yeah, there it is there. It actually looked far worse on the outside. Man, it was loud. When that whatever hit, it must have been a brick or something. It's taken out the window there. But because it's got two skins, uh, whatever was thrown at us uh, didn't penetrate in there and get my family. I don't travel on the trains that much. Uh, I dare say it's a freakish sort of one-off event. Yeah, when whatever hit uh, that window there, if you remember the old train detonators that were under the wheels that made a big bang, that's exactly what it sounded like inside. Boof. Normally it's Gloria Choo Choo does the train stuff. Uh, yeah, the, the train, staff here uh, right onto that they've taken a lot of looks at that window there i think the train can proceed on because it hasn't penetrated into the into the passenger cab but crikey's that was loud i mean i just remember pulling my head in when we heard this great big bang and while i'm here might as well show you this beautiful sights of hornsby station one of the major stations up here in the north shore line of sydney and as I clock around nice and slowly so I don't get any weirdo video, we can look down the platform here at the damaged train, which had the rock, bomb, gun, whatever, go onto it. Beautiful Tangara set there. I don't know, so train fanboys can tell me more about it because I know very little about it, that's for sure. Final update about our uh, poor train that got hit by the brick. It was actually at the skate park between Thornley and Normanhurst and I just had a chat to the driver. Uh, that train had to be retired, so it's going up to the train sheds at Hornsby. So it's inconvenienced a whole bunch of people because that train was going to go back into town. So this is what happens on trains, you know, children or somebody throws bricks at trains. They think it's fun. That's the Friday night fun for you. And now that train's got to go back to the train set sheds and get a get a repair. Wow! Like I said, it was like a bomb going off, like the old train down there. Bang! You know, and we all pulled our heads in. We're very lucky that the second window in that carriage didn't break, or else it would have been, we would have been injured for sure. They say that train is just waiting for a bit of clearance. A couple of red lights there. This incident had me speaking to the wonderful rail staff there at Hornsby Station, the train drivers, and a few other people, and they said to me, "There's been a bit of a profile of things going on around the skate park at Thornley." And in fact, if I track back on the data of my video, I started recording just after the train was hit. And if I go back on the train timetable and also the location of where the video was shot in the train, I can start to see a pretty strong digital fingerprint of exactly where the train was hit. And yes, it all tracks back to the skate park at Thornley, just as the train drivers said at Hornsby Station. So this event isn't some peculiar, unlucky one-off. This is an event which happens many, many times. And it had me so curious that I went to the skate park to see exactly what's going on there. And once I show you what I found at the skate park, that's going to really open your eyes to a much larger problem. Well, silly Leo decided to come down and just check out what the skate park's all about. Uh, which is the area we highly suspect the rocks were thrown at. And I'll tell you what, when I see what's going on down here, uh, I truly suspect this is a place of great concern. There's a whole ton of rubbish at this skate park which has been thrown off the edge of the skate park which is above me there. Okay, and uh, yes, uh, I dare say there's a lot of hoodlum sort of activity going on here and it's when you peer out over the tracks there, uh, I can see there's been other things uh, thrown in that direction. So definitely a place of fantastic concern. 
Oh, look at that there, hey, rocks for the picking, rocks for the picking. I'm actually really pleased that I've come down here and seen this site for myself, the perfect place to be naughty. Perfect place because when you're down here, well, there's rocks to be picked up. Uh, when you're here, nobody can see what you're up to. Nobody at all can see behind what you're up to. And on the other side here is where the trains go by. Mind you, you'd have to be a pretty good shot to get a rock and throw it over there to the train line. It's actually a fair distance, a good throwing arm may be able to do it. And I can see lots of other bits of paraphernalia from the skate park, uh, littering the area between the skate park and the rail line. I ventured to the top of the skate park and waited for some trains to pass by and it gave me a bit of a perspective and idea of how close the trains are to the skate park and how the elevation would assist in throwing something at the train. And when I see a train going by, I can start to see, wow, it would be fairly easy to pull off. But if you're standing on the top of the skate park, you're in view of the whole skate park, anybody can see what you're up to. But then there is that very secluded, sneaky alley, which is behind the skate park. And down there, I waited for a train to go by, and sure enough, the trains look fairly close when you see a train going by. And hidden away down here, nobody can see what you're up to. That's the problem with this skate park. Its placement against the major rail corridor, and the fact there's only one road in and out of this place, makes it a very neat place to get up to some very naughty business. This is a very inconvenient and ugly bit of town planning that needs a very urgent review. So the skate park is behind me there where the rail line is and it's a sort of place which has only got one road coming in and it's the perfect place that if you're mucking around down there you've got these escape routes in other directions and this one here leads up to Penner Hills Road. There you go, perfect little escape plan. But apart from the skate park giving people the opportunity to commit the perfect crime, right next door is the Brick Pit Stadium. And at the back of that building, there's also places there where you can get away with blue murder. Now just with a freight train going by here, uh, I'm at the Brick Pit Stadium at the back of it. There's an escape here or escape stairs which give you some elevation and down on the ground here right next to this area here and right next to the train going by there's a whole ton of little rocks and stuff so to commit you know crimes against trains here by throwing rocks it's the perfect scenario while i was there making this video a couple of children came up to me and says hey dude what are you up to and i said hey our train got hit on friday night and I'm just seeing what goes on around the skate park. And of course, the children know what goes on there. And I said, oh, there's these kids who come down here and throw rocks at trains. So that was the children's report to me about what goes on. But I wonder if I was a policeman, would they tell a policeman the same thing? I do see there's signs on the skate park saying it's an alcohol-free zone. But because of the peculiar isolation of this location, I dare say anything goes down when there's no one around. And Hornsby Council, who look after this part of Sydney, need to come here and do a very serious tidy up behind the skate park. Because from what I can see, the parts you don't see never get cleaned. And quite simply, to fix this problem, it's actually very simple. Just erect the fence which is high enough next to the skate park. Problem solved. I'm actually really pleased I spent the two minutes it took to come down to the skate park to take a look at what's going on. It's a no-brainer what goes on here and in fact I spoke to a dad here who explained to me the dynamic of what goes on when the sun sets. Teenagers come down here, they start drinking, guess what they start doing next? The fun is throwing things at trains that are going by and that does strongly line up with the story the train drivers were telling me at Hornsby Station. So I've got to ask myself, how much longer does this go on for? This is the perfect little crime scenario that I see going on here. This video is going to be a bit of a timestamp about, well, let's see what changes from this point on. You know what? I've got a funny feeling that nothing is going to change.